Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to another video. Welcome to a very warm Cyprus where the temperature is hot degrees. I have no idea how warm it is, but it is too warm. Uh, it's about half four now. Thought I'd leave it till, uh, till late afternoon to come out again. Just see if it cooled down a little bit, but that sun is still very, very strong. It is very warm and there's not much breeze to speak of either today. Uh, so yeah, it's warm. Hence why I've got Got the zip undone on the skin suit and the sleeves rolled up as well. Looks a little bit silly. It doesn't uh, don't give much aerial benefit, but keeps me a bit cooler at least, which is uh, which is good when it is this warm. So today's ride, just trying to mix it up a little bit. A lot of the efforts that I've been doing recently, the last few weeks, have been long, sort of progressive efforts around zone three, zone four, which has done me good, built up a good base, but. I'm just lacking a little bit in that top end, so that's the thing I'm really trying to work on. I had a good, solid three, four minute effort earlier on, and then hopefully for the rest of the ride, just gonna be doing loads of sprint efforts, loads of little VO2 max digs, and whatever else I can manage. I'm just hoping it's gonna start cooling down a little bit later on as well. Uh, similar route to yesterday, I think. Try and get another couple of hours done. A couple of gels with me. Should be all right, really. I'll catch you along the way. Okay, so I'm still warm, uh, very, very warm indeed. Uh, just probably about 100 meters over that way is the um, Turkish border. Now the island of Cyprus, you may or may not know, it's split into two. Uh, one half is Greek, one half is Turkish. I'm in the Greek bit, which in my opinion is probably the safer and better side to be. Um, just been through a town as well called Av. Uh, Avgoru, I think, and that's got a refugee camp. So I didn't hang around too long in there. Um, just just in case you never know what uh, what you might find um, so as I've come further inland the breeze has dropped and I've lost the sort of sea air which was keeping me a bit cooler um, it is boiling um, so I'm having to just temper the efforts a little bit just to keep myself from uh, from overheating uh, but I tell you what like say I did 50 miles yesterday and not well again i've only had one bowl of porridge and that's all i've eaten so far today um, so i'm riding on quite a light stomach i'm gonna have a couple of gels on the way uh but considering that doing all right so far uh, averaging 23.2 miles an hour which isn't particularly good because the island is pretty well this certainly this side of the island's pretty flat i've had a bit of a tailwind pushing me along as well so i've got to save something in reserve for the uh, for the journey home only problem we're saying on the eastern side of the island is the wind for the majority of the time has been coming from the east so i've had to come with the tailwind first and then headwind on the way home which has not made it particularly fun uh, yesterday was a bit of a change and i'm hoping today later on it might just uh, switch around to a bit more of a suddenly uh would be would be appreciated because i'm bloody boiling uh, i'm gonna crack on now i've got i don't i'm just gonna do whatever i feel like doing i'll chuck some sprints in if i feel like it um but I might have to say that to later on, just because it's too, too bloody warm at the minute. Uh, but I'll tell you what, like, I know there's been a few cars passing passing by, but once you get out of the resort, so on this side of the island, it is deserted. Uh, I'm on quite a main road at the minute, so that's why there's a lot of traffic coming past, but it's just bliss, absolute bliss. It makes such a nice change. Riding on the left-hand side of the road still, which is really, really nice, so I'm not... Uh, not getting too confused with that and uh, drivers for the most part have been pretty amazing uh, especially cons compared to the standards that we have over in the UK which are appalling so I'm gonna crack on probably gonna melt I'll see you in a short while
Okay, so I'm uh, just gone 30 miles in. I'm on the coastal road back to Ayanapa now. It's cooled down ever so slightly coming down towards the coast, which I am so, so thankful for. And I've got a nice cross tailwind as well just to uh, help me out a little bit. The sun is right behind me, so I do apologise for uh, the lack of contrast there. Uh, this road tends to be a little bit quieter than the uh, the main road. Well, I say the main road because the main road is the highway uh, that runs along pretty much parallel to this, so there's not too much traffic, although I'm kind of in rush hour at the minute, so understandably a little bit busier. Anyway, uh, the wind has just blown me all over the place today. It's not been able to make up its mind as to which direction it's blowing in, which hasn't been particularly helpful. <laughs> uh, so it's kind of put a damper on a few of the efforts a little bit really there, but uh, still managed to get a couple of decent sprints in, a couple of VO2 max efforts. So I'm going to carry on, a couple more sprints, even the legs are absolutely toast. And then I'm going to do the nice little climb out of Ayanapa, about three or four minutes, just enough to get a little bit of burn in the legs. But that's pretty much like the only hill around here, so got to make the most of it. But, oh my god, <laughs> I am so glad it's cooled down. Okay, I made it to the top. That's not a nice climb. It's only short, but the gradient is just never constant. I like climbs like Huddersfield Road back at home. Uh, a nice, steady, consistent gradient. Even though it's never any easier, it's just good to get into a rhythm. There is no rhythm to that at all. Steep, flat, steep, flat, roundabout, steep, flat. It's uh, just a, it's a nightmare to keep up with. Uh, but I think I've done all right up there. Considering that's at the end of the ride, so I've done 37 miles so far, another six, seven-ish miles left to go. I'm gonna take it easy. Just enjoy the sunset. It's uh, it's getting just a nice temperature now. I mean, I'm just loving this. Golden hours coming up as well, so I'm sure I'll get a few good pictures for the tan. And uh, still kept 22 mile an hour average so far. I'm sure that's gonna go up with uh, this descent as well, because it's a nice rapid descent down here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this. Okay, I made it back to Prataris, uh, 46 miles, just over two hours there. Uh, good God, 22.2 .2 miles an hour average, uh, speed average power was 264 with a normalizer 296. So I think considering the weight, it's like 70, I call it 72, just to be conservative, that's like over four watts a kilo for two hours there. So pushing it a fair bit, uh, perhaps a little bit too much. I think I'm going to declare tomorrow's ride an easy ride. Uh, it's going to be my last one. Uh, I'm flying back on Friday, but late on. Uh, I just need to check out the hotel at, at 12, and I can't be bothered packing the bike up in the morning. I'd rather be in the sunshine. So tomorrow's ride, I'm just going to have to take it a little bit easier than that, because that was a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so I've uh, been doing that usual post-ride analysis on the balcony. I've sat in my um, skin suit for like 20 minutes. He's gonna have a shower. Uh, anyway, nice little surprise. We ended up with um, three KOMs on Stram, and not that I was particularly uh, going out for them. Uh, first effort that I did um, right up at the northeast of um, the Greek part of Cyprus, going um, towards Derinea, I think. Um, there's all sort of a, a ramp at like 3% for a couple of miles. Got that one by 10 seconds, and then that last little hill out of Ayanapa ended up getting that one as well. Um, the longer version, which does cross a couple of roundabouts, so I'll, I must have just got lucky with the traffic. Anyway, that's a nice little bonus for uh, for a ride. Uh, I'm, I'm cooked, not gonna lie. Um, speaking of cooking, I'm gonna do some cooking, but it's just gonna be the exact same as yesterday so I'm not gonna bore you with that too much um, so what I'll do I'm gonna do this now I'm just gonna go out explore Pitara so I'll leave you with a little bit of footage of that and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave us a thumbs up and uh, I'd love to know what you thought uh, 
I'll see about doing a video tomorrow just because it's going to be an easier ride, it's probably going to be quite boring. You never know, I might find some uh, nice sights to show you. Uh, so yeah, thanks again. And I'll see you in the next video.